okay so we are back to last two chapters as per the schedule so we will start with the dictionaries today so from my perspective dictionary, dictionaries are one of the most valued um, data types in terms of python so majority of the projects you will come across dictionaries uh, and a combination of dictionary with the tuple or list in any case um, so uh, the basic syntax will be like it will be having a flower bracket we have seen normal bracket and square brackets so this one will obviously gonna use a different bracket and uh, each element in the dictionaries is gonna be a value of a key and uh, a path so you might have come across that so also the dictionaries are unordered uh, in other terms you cannot uh, access a particular index and try to see the same value all the time in other words, you cannot sort things out as well. So that is going to be a drawback, but it has its own uh, pros and cons. So I consolidated many of the examples in a single Python file. So we will go over this uh, in our Atom Editor. So let's start with this. Okay, so I'm assigning a dictionary with three different keys and the respective values so i'm gonna access the value inside the key banana so what i will do is i will give the variable uh, which holds the dictionaries and uh, inside the index i'm gonna pass the key which uh, holds the value of my interest so this is a basic example of how to assign a dictionary and how to access a value inside a particular uh, key of a dictionary uh, and followed by that how we add a value to a dictionary so basically you have to uh, uh, add a key before adding any value which uh, in, uh, in, uh, how can I put this so if you want to add a key um, you have to add like this if you want to add a value to an existing key you have to uh, call by the key instead of assigning a new key so that's as simple as that and deleting a key is uh, basically the same as adding so you have to uh, use the keyword del uh, and you have to pass the uh, dictionary variable and uh, the respective key to remove the entire content uh, you are not just deleting uh, a particular value of a key inside you are just uh, deleting the entire key itself so uh, followed by that we are trying to see the example of how shallow copy works uh, uh, before coming to this let's just uh, you know, print this thing first and see how it looks like So first example, we are accessing the value file, which is printed properly. And, uh, we are just trying to add mango, which is there. And we are trying to remove banana, which is done. So let's follow the example of copy. So in our last chapter, uh, we see how shallow copy works and what it means so let's proceed the same uh, in dictionaries as well so this is uh, a simple example of uh, copy we have seen in multiple programming languages but the difference in python is it passes the reference of the uh, memory storage rather than just copying the values that is what we want so in other terms uh, the pointer that is pointing to the variables inside this is going to be uh, uh, inside this is going to be copied to this variable so any change that you are trying to do here which will be reflected over here as well that is not what we want so instead we want to copy the values of the variable that we want to copy and we are just passing it to a new variable so so i'm trying to see the memory location of the variables that i assigned so this is the memory location of my uh, fruit basket and this is the memory location of my alias uh, a fruit, fruit basket alias that I created which is just pointing to the actual uh, memory location which is not what we want so I am using um, uh, the method copy to copy the values and now it's being stored in a different location so 
this is to make you understand that shallow copy exists in dictionary as well just to keep that in mind so the solution obviously is that we've seen how to use uh, deep copy from our method so use the deep copy method uh, if you are using a nested dictionary so uh, if this method won't work if we have dictionaries within dictionaries that's going to create a problem and we can't circumvent the issue so use uh, uh, deep copy in that case so that is uh, another solution so let's proceed with our examples uh, so we have key values and uh, how we are going to access each and every uh, each each of these elements let's see that in action So executing this. Okay, so I'm gonna access keys by using the method for the dictionaries dot keys. Uh, so this will just uh, give you the keys in a, in a list format, and uh, well, obviously the values, the syntax is gonna be the same. It just access the values of uh, respective keys. Uh, just remember that the order might not be the same. Uh, so if you are printing in a single shot, this corresponds to the key values. Uh, so just to keep that in mind. And uh, obviously the items is going to print the combination of keys and values. So we will come across uh, these keywords very often when we are uh, playing with the complex data set. So this is kind of very important. And let's see how to you know search through in uh, keys if we don't know what the key actually is so we can basically play with it so uh, in this example I am trying to access a key which I am kind of don't remember so how do I do it so use the method get to see uh, whether a particular keyword exists or not so what this method returns is it will either return, uh, it will return a boolean expression it might return a true if the key exists inside the dictionary that you are trying to access it returns false if it doesn't exist so i'm trying to play with it to see whether the apple exists in the dictionary basket or not if it's true it will go over this i'm trying to access orange if it's true it will go over this and banana respectively so we know that apples and uh, apple and banana is there and uh, orange won't go through so that's what uh, we are going to see Apples in the basket, no oranges. Uh, so number of baskets in the banana. We are just using the uh, uh, index to uh, access the first value. So that's why it returns the value five and zero respectively. So that would be it to use the get all method. And the key takeaway is that uh, remember that tuples are immutable, right? So if we can use tuples uh, in the keys. So it basically uh, create an immutable record with keys are being immutable and the values are going to be mutable. So use this combination of properties like I said before to come up with a, uh, to come up with a better efficient way of making use of the default Python uh, data types. Uh, so one uh, another uh, uh, note to take is that uh, when we run the speed check, uh, there's a function to check how uh, fast your program executes. Uh, if we perform the same operation using dictionaries and lists, so dictionaries is obviously it's gonna be uh, very fast. Um, take a practical example. You have dictionaries, right? If you want to uh, go over a particular definition, you will go over the index of A to Z. Just pinpoint it out and cut short the time uh, you know, to access what you want. So basically, it's gonna be fast and it's uh, it's proven with if you use the uh, speed check methodology as well so this would be the end of chapter 13 and